go. It's a Jubilee Small Podcast. It's Wednesday, August the 3rd, 2016. Hello, Lauren Clark. Hi, Stu Farrell. Three days into excellence. How are you? Oh, good. Good to be back. And, Welcome uh, back. Certainly enjoyed uh, the the uh, hits from the vault. Is that what you say? The, uh, <laughs> that the is trip not, down memory lane. Not what you say at all. Well, the, hit, uh, the memories from the vault, the... the uh, the vault. Did you enjoy the vault? I did enjoy the vault. Well, was, you didn't uh, enjoy the vault because you don't need to listen back to anything ever. No. Um, but but I you, the fact that we got something out there. It, that's true. Uh, would you regale us with tales from your uh, adventures? Well, because I don't really have any. I mean, all, uh, to be honest, yes. and I think we should, yes. you did have some rather lovely photographic evidence of... Uh, at least a place, unless you were doing that thing where you were like online finding pictures of pina coladas and beaches no. and sending them to me. Can I just say that I think Victoria is finished uh, as a place to no, be. This it is is not what, do you know what I nearly said be. before we went on air? What? I nearly said, don't you come on air Victoria and do is that. Done. Uh, Victoria, it's the no. end of time, Victoria. Victoria is terrible. Because I, you've come in here I in a mood. Like that. I knew exactly that you were going to come on. Not a mood. I'm half say, frozen to death. You were going to say, I am out of here. You Victorians, you've done it. You've, you've you just, this, you've got it all round the wrong way. We have. We we've, got, we've got it wrong living in this part of the world. So good morning to mm-hmm. all of those people that are uh, uh, smart enough yep. to not live in an ice box that's overcrowded and stinks because you could be. Living in Welcome a, it, home, you could be living in space on a beach that is inhabited by whales mm-hmm. and surrounded by just beauty. And constantly. how were the people around you up there? Was it good? Surrounded by a community that you enjoyed, were you? No, well, look, I will say one thing. There was there was cause for me to go to Mullumbimpy. Now, <laughs> I am on the record, thank you, Lauren Clark, as saying that I hate Mullumbimpy, yeah. all the people that live there, except yeah. for two. And everything it stands for. <laughs> now, for two. And two not it, included. Yeah. it did not fail to live up to expectations. Right. Let me just tell you this. The How first do they vote there? Do you know? Oh. Do they vote? They're probably the, the million. Party. They're probably the one million. Free the hemp <laughs> <laughs> from its shackles. Well, um, it's they're shackles. probably the one million, is it? People who didn't vote? Australians who didn't vote? Was it that many? And the know. last. Yeah, well, apparently it was, it was. There was an article I read. There's a lot of mistakes. The heading, well, headline of, uh, but yeah. there were 23 votes between deciding that final Labor Party one that they're going to take to the in Queensland. Yeah. Oh, anyway, well. continue. Anyway, look, Mel- Melumbimbi, great uh, place name. It stinks, and it actually stinks. The, the town of Melumbimbi stinks like it smells. Like a sewage pipe broke. And the hippies danced around the effluent like it was some sort of offering from the gods. And they all got rubbed in it, and now everybody smells the same melon and bee. But I will say this to you, Warren Clark, and <laughs> this, this is so that, pleasant to have this you is back. Too without far. a word of a lie, mm-hmm. right? Yep. I got out of my car. We mm. hired a, a friend, and I were on, on, a tr- on a pilgrimage. We got out of the car. Yes. We, we uh, thought, all right, let's uh, go and pick up a couple of things before we go over and visit uh, A one and A two. Yep. And um, Let's pop in and have a quick pint, whatever, do whatever you do when you're away in mm. the heat. Yeah. We, by the way, as soon as we got out of the airport, we had to change. It was that warm. Yeah. We came up in Melbourneian clothes yeah. and had to turn into Queenslanders. And yeah. the same applied on the way back. Yeah. We got changed just before we got on the air, on the aeroplane. Yeah. Because uh, we, we were in shorts. I, was, I had been in shorts and thongs. Listen to you. For the as last if, four days. You, this is the beautiful it's thing about the this. Middle is you've of got, winter. You've got blame in your voice. You are hating I'm, and blaming with this. I blame you my parents for got, bringing me up in oh Victoria. Oh, my Lord. For okay. bringing me up in such a cold, Continue. To, you're on a pilgrimage. I was rather state. enjoying the fact that you're on a pilgrimage. I thought that we, right. we may find something All in right. there. Yes. I, this is literally mm. the first thing. Yes. That someone said to me in Mullumbimby on uh, Friday morning. <laughs> yes. Save the dolphins and whales. I said, is this, a, um, is, I said to the person next to me, I said, this is a parody. I said, is this a joke? Save the mean? dolphins and whales. And didn't that whine? It wasn't like, hey, save the dolphins and whales. It was like, hey, save the dolphins and whales. And then three steps down, to there, you, there was a guy. To you, directly to you? Or yeah, just directly to, to me. Right, yeah. Okay. And then there were, I think so collecting money for dolphins and whales. Mm. And then literally in front of me, there was a guy who's yeah. well old enough to know better, standing there in pants that looked like they'd been exploded in 
and oh. with hair. <laughs> no, but, but if he was exploding, he was exploding tins of paint. Right, right, right. And, okay. which, and that wasn't brown paint. <laughs> right, it right, was right, all okay. the colours of sure, the rainbow. Sure, sure. So tie-dye pants or something. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And he had dreads yeah. and the, the look of stink about him. Oh, and the, don't be revolting, honestly. No. Yeah. yeah. You know when someone's like got mud on their face? Right. He that was a mud face hippie. Right. And it, they were everywhere and I've gone, you, you haven't just, let me down. You ca- Next oh. day. Okay. I, go, I just got pointed at. I have to I go to, no, well, no, I no, go no, into a store. Fine. Yeah, continue. And the person goes, hello. You went into a shop. Yes. A shop. Mm. They had in this shop. To my surprise, mm. fried dim sims in the bain marie, and that bain marie, and I've gone. Well, this is this could be the one little saviour. This could be the spot. This the, Here we go. the hot what spot. Was it? Vegan. I said no. Mm. I said, "How are you going? Do you have steamed dim sims? Seriously?" The woman looked at me yeah. in shock yeah. for like thirty seconds before she said something. Like, but just stared at me in the eyes. And what did she say? Uh, that's what she says. She went, uh, uh, uh. I said, don't worry about it. I'll just have a um, chicken wrap. <laughs> she came back yeah. after packaging up this chicken wrap. Yeah. I said, we only have fried. Still in shock. Okay. I don't no, think she knows no, what I was talking about. No. I think she went and actually asked yeah, she did. what a steamed dim sim was. That's right. She did. But she did probably didn't even know there was fried dim sims. It was probably her first day of life. Like, honestly, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. So, you know. Oh. Anyway, apart from that little sort of blight on the map, and I would add to that Byron yes. Bay, the whole city of Byron Bay, which is an absolute joke, which I don't go so anywhere near. Everywhere up there is a joke and no. down here is a joke. Let's talk Turkey. Right, okay. Where are you living? Where are you moving to? Well, I could quite easily live in Burley Heads. I could quite <laughs> easily live in Cabarita Beach. How much does it cost to live in I could quite easily live in Brunswick Heads. So, sorry? How much do all these places cost? Are they... They're not cheap, I'd yeah. imagine. <laughs> but... There's a bit of a plan. Being I would floated. deign to live in this house. There's a bit oh, there's of a plan. plan. There's a plan. There? We're going to try and you get and the a house bit of a. No, no, no. I haven't spoken to the house about it. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, um, this is a separate plan. Yeah. Separate plan. Maybe myself and two other interested parties mm. getting a property. Now that I'm in the market, <laughs> I'll go. Obviously, I'll go and represent the market. What, what has happened to you? Well, I'm telling you. Have you fallen into some cashola that you haven't told nah. me about? Did you finally nah. win that? No. And. Uh, my horse lost on the weekend. That was supposed to pay for everything, so that didn't happen. Mm. That was a bad loss um, because I got my um, numbers wrong on the uh, betting app and inadvertently uh, bet twice as much as I thought I was supposed to. Uh, so that hurt no, twice really as much. Get, you've really got to get those. A calculator? No, no, no. The app sorted because that happened last time, didn't it? Oh, no, no, it no, the that, app. It was that wouldn't the, accept yeah. the money. It was the same app. But it was my. This is my fault this right. time. Okay. But, but the app didn't explain properly. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Your Honour. Yes. Beachside, northern New South Wales, into southern Queensland. Oh, that's a beautiful area. Psst, that's where I'm going. That's a beautiful area. I'm but please up. don't, please don't buy something that is. <laughs> you can't tell me where not to buy. No, no. Please don't, don't help a developer mow into a whole section of. <laughs> Virgin bush up there. But it's beautiful, the virgin bush. And if you just carve <laughs> your own little part of paradise out, then it's fine. Leave the rest of it there. Yeah, for everyone else. Yeah, yeah that's but I, right. I want my patch. You know what? I deserve it. This is, you're kind of creeping I've come me back out. Like a Queenslander. You, you have. Yeah. I was about to say that. Mm-hmm. You are, you've just, it, how long did that take? Three, four days. Five, four days. Five days. Five, whatever it was. Wow. That's what you're, happens. Stuart, I would say welcome back, but maybe by the end of this podcast, I may just have you on a plane again. Save the dolphins <laughs> and the whales. Oh, oh. There's no problem with that's a good thing to do. Save the dolphins and the whales. Oh. Hang on his side. Was it, it was him? a she. Oh. <laughs> Stupid. Mm-mm-mm. Stuart. It's a bit loud there. We have to turn my uh, bass down. Yes. Impossible, my friend. <clears throat> um, hey, uh, my what's in your phone this day? <laughs> this day? <laughs> this day I bring to thee. Yes, Father. Uh, is, interestingly enough, about storytelling. If you, what? You Nothing. can't have a problem with that. 
I don't. You I am going to bring interesting enough, interestingly enough. Yeah, because I was I was unable to tell the story. Ah, yeah. because I thought um, you were going to ask about the census. I was expecting a census. Yes, yarn. you don't listen to me, do you? When I say I'm going to do that one another time, so now you've oh. ruined it for me. I can't do it another time because <laughs> it's going to look old. Anyway, uh, the census thing I was going to say was: yeah. Have you been following all the census stuff? Yes. Have you really? Well, I've been following. Are the you going to do uh, it? Well, there's. <sighs> Anyway, there's, I, a, there's an article. For those of you who don't know what we're talking about, Census in Australia does a kind of, you know, counts us all and does the numbers yeah, and stuff. but previously it's been relatively anonymous. And now it's... it's Relatively anonymous. Well, yeah. So the, I'm going to post an article. And they're storing a lot more of it. If I remember that explains it. All right, sorry. Anyway, which I was going to post another day, closer well, to the Census. Come, anyway, I'll, listen. I've come back at Grump and, and I've blown up uh, your story. Well, that's because you can't... Look at your phone and listen at the same time, and that's what you were attempting to do. Mm. Stuart, storytellers, how would you do you know some good storytellers? Um, hey, uh, Lauren Clark, thank you. Yes, do you know any other good storytellers? I think so. You don't need one in your life <laughs> anyway. The Wall Street Journal reports that storytellers, people with a nat- natural inclination to craft concise, yeah, <laughs> that's where I get mm. in trouble, yet compelling narratives without rambling, were found to be what. By science. Geniuses. No. Early uh, adopters. No. Uh, <laughs> geriatrics. Just, you bumblebees. You're just making things up now. <laughs> well, you're asking me. <laughs> what else do scientists talk hot. about? Hot. Hot. Oh, really? I thought yes. comedians were supposed to be hot. Did you? Oh, Dave Did you really think uh, that? Yes. No. That is an incorrect rumour. <laughs> I, I went to the comedy festival. Oh, everyone was so cool. Oh, my God. Um, so the results were the shows. same across all three studies. So we're talking ah. about three studies. We're not talking about, you know, um, you know, a world study or anything. So this is – but whatever. So and, could just to clarify. Yes. Clear, concise storytelling makes you hot. Correct. Women rated men who were good storytellers as more attractive and desirable as potential long-term partners. Psychologists believe this is because the man is showing he knows how to connect, how to share emotions – and how to be vulnerable. Yeah. He is also indicating he is interesting and articulate and can gain resources and uh, provide support. Storytelling is linked to the ability to be a good provider because uh, a man is explaining what he can offer. And that's a bit of a stretch. And also mm, very interested to know about the gender of this. Uh, the men didn't care whether the women were good storytellers, the research showed. Hey, Lauren, did I tell you when I was down at uh, Cabaret I'm really Beach bored by that story and, uh, and I'm going to go. Um, I wanted to the wonderful <laughs> wilderness, the birds to I think my what right. You, I think uh, what you've demonstrated, by the way, is that today is that you are not a good storyteller because basically you've just come in here uh, ranting about how everyone's the worst. Well, I mean, it, and some people like ranty stories. Isn't it interesting yeah. that men didn't like women storytellers? Well, I'm taking a little bit of a message home with that one. And I hope people are reading between the lines because I don't want to poke the r- grumpy bear over there. You're getting ranty. But I'm just saying it's an interesting, in inverted commas, fact. Lauren, if you... inverted commas. Any Stuart. actual storytellers would like to get in contact with us, how yes. would they do so? <laughs> so, Stu, we're Stupidly Big. Stupidly Big, the um, media conglomerate, really. Stupidly What's been big happening with those meetings, by the way? Dot com. Uh, well, we had a whole lot of them while you were away. Well, that's so, what I was wondering. Yeah. And I was, but I am confident within my storytelling ability <laughs> to allow you to do that sort of thing. <laughs> um, Stuart, they can find us at Stupidly allow Big. you to do that? Stupidly Big. Dot com. Yeah, that was great. Mm. Stupidly Big. Dot com. Stupidly Big on Facebook, Stupidly Big on Twitter. We're really, um, Facebook's where our home is um, because it's just easier to update. Is that their slogan? No, it's ours. And also you can give us a rating or a review on iTunes. Uh, we appreciate that very much. People have been doing that lately. In fact, I must say, Stuart Farrell, before we go, a lot of people have been in touch Mailbag and what Monday with, is going to be a pounder. Yeah, I was going to say. What with there being no Mailbag Monday this week. Whew. We're going to have to do some catching up. I'll do some prep Sunday. As if you will. Stuart, love you dearly. It's very pleasant to have you back. Thank you. I promise my heart will have thawed out by tomorrow and we'll be back (laughs) on track. I really am. And it'll be fine. Excellent. Stuart, I will see you then. Bye bye.